A revolutionary aircraft makes its maiden voyage to Britain. Boeing is hoping for big things from its 787. It's called it the Dreamliner after all, but what's the big deal? Well, the manufacturer is pitching it as a sort of Toyota Prius of the skies. Obviously without all of the recall problems, but you get the idea, very green. Boeing says it's a fifth more fuel efficient than its rivals. Chief Test Pilot Mike Carragher says it's been amazing to watch its progress from the drawing board and into the skies. When you get to take an airplane from a piece of paper to flying it at 43,000 feet in Mach 0.87, it's tremendously exciting. Great for the environment and Boeing, but what's in it for me, the passenger? Well, you'll be glad to hear the industry's hailing the interior the greatest advance in air travel since Concorde. We're being promised significant advances in in-flight comfort and well-being. Boeing Commercial's Vice President of Marketing, Randy Tinseth, says we'll notice the difference. This is a new experience for passengers. It will look different on the inside of the 787, and I guarantee you at, a, at the end of a long flight, you'll feel better. An LED lighting system which recreates the sunrise and sunset of our destination, easing us into time zone changes. High humidity levels to cut down on dryness and dehydration. And then there are the windows, three times bigger than the average, allowing everybody a view of the horizon with a dimmer to let you decide how much light you let in. More oxygen to cut out dizziness and headaches and the cleanest air in the air. Wider aisles and seats than any other aircraft so you can move around more freely. We're also being promised a quieter ride and a smoother one. Boeing claims its system senses out turbulence in advance and irons out the bumps, reducing motion sickness by up to eight times. Good news for nervous flyers then, those with weak stomachs, and the poor people who have to sit next to them.